Got in gamers here. Driver log number 11 for you. We got a special treat for you today. It's been a busy week for SCS. They released this beautiful Volvo this past week and then just a few days later the special transport DLC finally came out uh, which you can check out that DLC over on Steam. It's $5 US. Great price for the content that they gave us. The Volvo is a free DLC and as long as your game's updated you've already got this. So I thought hey how cool would that be today to go ahead and take the brand new truck out and also try it on some of the heaviest loads or well the heaviest load in the vanilla game now now before we get this video started i want to remind you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give us a like on this video it helps us out a lot and also make sure to hit the notification button so you know when our next video goes live now there's lots of different options for the new Volvo just like the other trucks. I'm just going to skim through them real quick so you kind of get an idea of the different configurations for it. As far as the chassis, it's got all the same ones as the other trucks. Uh, the engine types are a little bit different. You do have Volvo choices as well as the Cummins. Uh, it looks like the spec wise these are pretty darn close the same. I've run them both and they both sound the same, seem to handle the same so I don't think there's much difference there. Got the same gearboxes in here as well. Now as far as the interior goes you've got Neo Classic and Elite Interior. I chose the Elite because I think that the brown probably looks a little bit better. Gives you a few more little options on the dash as well. Uh, jumping over to the paints, there are a few that are exclusive to this truck. I'll try to point out what they are here. Maybe the Thunderbird is. You've got the city scene, which is New York City, I believe. Yeah, uh, I haven't even looked at this one, to be honest. Uh, that's a pretty nice looking one, the Knight Rider. You've also got the uh, SEAL Team tribute skin, which I think looks fantastic. And then you've also got a couple down here, the Viking Knots. Uh, there's also the horses. We were here first, which is the Vikings, and I think that's about it. And I may have missed one there, but there's kind of an idea of the different skins that are on the truck. Now, I won't go through all these different options, but there are several things that you can tweak, different mirrors, different little things here and there. Uh, you'll see those if you uh, jump into your game and check it out. And uh, lastly, as far as your interior goes, everything is pretty much the same over there with the little accessories that you can add and different steering wheels and things like that. I chose this steering wheel on my truck. I think this match is really nice. And so the interior is not too bad once you get it up and running. It's got a really nice little back part here. Not that you're looking back there, but I think it looks pretty decent. And the mirrors on this truck are phenomenal. Now before we jump into my truck, which you can see in the background, uh, you'll see the freight market has the special transport loads in it. We're actually going to be hauling the very heaviest one today, which weighs about 187,392 pounds. So that's a pretty darn heavy load just in comparison. The heaviest load with the heavy haul is 123,000 pounds. So you're talking almost 200,000 pounds. It's extremely heavy. Uh, now all of them are not going to show. I think there's 11 of them in here. I've got most of them. You can see the huge construction set, which I haven't had a chance to uh, haul yet. We'll uh, filter out there. And going down the list, you have the massive tech part, which hangs out a lot on both sides. I have hauled that one. Uh, the giant silo, I think I did that. We did all these on our Twitch live stream over at twitch.tv slash gunandgamers. I ran most of them the day that they came out, so hopefully you guys were able to catch that. Uh, large reservoir tank, they got that one in there. Uh, you've got the air conditioning unit and the boat, which I haven't got to do those two yet. The, the haul truck haul, which is the haul of the truck we're hauling. Uh, say that 10 times fast. That one is not quite as heavy, but boy does it hang out. And I got that caught on several cars. This one here kind of puzzled me. And I mean, these are the tires for the truck. And there's an achievement for hauling all three pieces, I think without damage. But this one here is really not that heavy. And it's not really an oversized load per se. I mean, it does hang out a little bit on each side. But um, not really too epic as far as like hauling it goes. Uh, going down the line... You've got this one, which isn't very heavy, but again, it's wide, hauling a, a, a prefab house. And the other one, uh, I think that I think that was I think that was it. Oh no, there's a helicopter. It's not showing up. That's that's the lightest one was a helicopter. And I might be missing one more in there that's not showing up currently on my list. But again, that gives you an idea of what's in the game. And of course, you could probably also go into the uh, vehicle browser here and check those out further. It's a $5 DLC again over on Steam. We gave a couple copies away on the streams this past weekend. So uh, we'll see if we get a few more of those in the future. Let's go ahead and jump into our truck here. It is sitting at the trigger, ready to go. 
again outside view on this truck it is phenomenal i'll be honest with you i thought i would like the truck i didn't think i would love it uh it, it's it's still probably not going to replace the w900 as far as being my favorite truck but it's getting up there to be tied with my favorite truck it looks phenomenal on the outside it sounds pretty good the jake doesn't sound quite as good but it sounds as good as all the other trucks in the game and the exterior of it in my opinion looks phenomenal it really does and they're talking about throwing a different or the newer model in so that'll be kind of nice too but again you can see the inside of my truck you get some nice skylight uh, light coming through the skylight rather and those mirrors are phenomenal when you're driving they're just in the right spot and you can see all the right things and I've already got we'll turn on my head here I've already got 21,300 miles in this truck yes that is all me driving it I've been on it hard this past week including just yesterday on the twitch live stream we drove 10,000 miles in one live stream uh, day and it was epic it was really fun to get the whole community out and uh, you know, just, just tear up those roads in multiplayer. So hopefully you're able to join us in the future if you haven't already. We'll go into the freight market and get that load accepted here. We've got the haul truck chassis and we'll accept the job. Now they're gonna go ahead and fill me up with fuel. That's the nice thing about these. I did run the ETS ones back in the day and they were, they're pretty much the same. It gives us a little bit, bit of a view of the truck. The news, the news stations are out here. This is a massive event. Everybody's excited. Oh, look at that. Everybody's eyeballing it. Giving me a few different views. Look at how huge that thing is. All those axles. All right, and it's giving you kind of a rundown. You can pause the video if you want and read all that, telling you what you need to look out for. We're gonna go ahead and hit continue. And then, yeah, you, all you gotta do is get that thing in gear which I have got to make sure to throw on my beacons. We've got the ASP button box that we're using, which helps a whole lot when you're hauling these things. Let's jump back in the truck, we'll get ourselves in gear, turn off that parking brake. We're in low low. Ooh, man. Now, I did one of these, like I said, on the Twitch live stream, and I used a W900. And that one did pretty well. It made that truck work, though, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, gosh. I'm going to go in third person just for our immersion here. Yeah, there's plenty of room fitting through there. Look at how big that is. Triple axles on each set. Now the heavy hauls, it, these trailers may look somewhat similar. The heavy haul, part of the heavy haul pack, those will have two axles in the front and then two in the back. And then the very back piece, I can't remember if that's the part that's called the Jeep, but you'll have two axles on that back there as well. So that's the difference. These all have three. Oh my gosh. There's first gear. First, uh, one uh, low. <laughs> all right, we gotta fit through this gate. This is only a 206 mile, 209 miles, something like that. I'm gonna turn on my head tracking here. All right, we made it out of there without doing damage. Okay, truck is looking good otherwise. We're gonna get a nice police escort. Now I'll go ahead and throw out the one part that I'm very disappointed in this DLC, and hopefully you'll get an update in the future, is we didn't get any LED lights that we got in the Euro Truck version. Those things are so awesome, and plus we can use those on multiplayer. So I was a little bit bummed out that we don't have the LED light options. We actually did not get any accessories for our trucks. For these, I don't even think we got paint skins. I don't know if we did in the Euro Truck. I can't remember. It was a year and a half ago, but... And make that corner super wide. This is why the police are blocking everybody off for us. Oh man, see we might have to get the Mac R and try to do one of these, oh my gosh. So you can't specify where you want to go, there's only a few places in the map, I think a total of 11 routes that they have these. So you can't like set up a load to be done, I don't know, uh, you know, in the middle of the, the mountain somewhere, where there's hills or something like that. They pretty much only have a few few choices and uh, that's that's what you're stuck with because you know these are 
packed with random events. I mean, cars that are trying to get in the middle of what we're doing and the police have to force people over and you'll, you'll see all kinds of that. I did one on the live stream from Eureka to Redding and that twisty, twisty road. And uh, boy, that was really something. I was trying to get one of those today, but I, I couldn't for the life of me get one of those to, to generate. So I just decided, you know what, I haven't done this, this run yet from uh, Clovis to Hobbs, so I figured, well, why not? Now we are restricted to going uh, 40 miles an hour, so I'm going to go ahead and get that sorted here. All right, there's 40. Yeah, we're actually, that, that, that gear is kind of, uh, yeah, it's going to do okay right in the middle of the green there. I like to be around 15, then we don't choke out on the hills. I'm going to go down to 6 high. Yeah, that's going to be much better. Keep around 15. Honestly, I'd probably do 6 low if I was just cruising normally, but uh, we'll keep the truck quiet today. But yeah, I think the truck looks phenomenal. I mean, I like my dash of the W900 more. I like the uh, digital display in the W900 showing not only my cruise control speed, but also my actual speed. And it's a little easier to see, but I'd say this one definitely is a second place as far as the dash, the digital portion of the dash. My biggest thing is I wanna see what my cruise control is set to. And there's a few trucks that it's very hard to see that. It's almost kind of annoying. Uh, the mirrors are another big thing for me. The mirrors have to be, you know, where I can sit back, especially when I am not using my head tracking, which will turn that off and it'll reset. I want my mirrors to be very visible. Uh, like the Mac R, for instance, I can't see the mirror unless if I'm always doing, driving it like this or something. It drives me crazy. So I, I definitely give it a, a huge A-plus on the mirrors. Whoa! Cop's gonna dart on the brakes there. Yeah. Oh my gosh, bud, what's going on? Usually they have these railroad crossings closed. If we spot, we should spot a truck. I can't believe that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. That is really the first time I've seen that. There's no crew out here closing the railroad tracks down. Huh. Interesting. Usually they'll have a crew out there that's sitting there with the, with the tracks closed, you know, and making sure. I've seen so far anyway. Um, now, again, we're in New Mexico. Uh, and I want to point out that most of the runs for this are in the DLC. I'm sorry, are in the non-DLC. And... California, Arizona, Nevada. There are a few that are in New Mexico, and they're gonna be adding a few more to Oregon here soon. I don't know when, they just said that they're gonna add some. So if you don't have the DLC regions, you're still gonna be able to hit up most of the routes and certainly take advantage of the DLC. Okay, we're gonna set that cruise again. So 40 miles an hour is the most you can do. Uh, if you go, whoops, if you go too fast, then you'll obviously be hitting the cop car and you'll fail. It'll stop you immediately and make you reload the last checkpoint. And if you get too far away from the guy behind you, it's hard to see back there, uh, it'll also fail you. And sometimes you'll get stuck from traffic and things like that, and it'll fail you. you just be driving along and all of a sudden, oh, you failed. And it'll be wondering what happened. Because to be honest, when you're hauling these loads, this is one little gripe I have. You can't see that guy back there unless if you're like driving off the road and swerving to, to, you know, to be able to try to catch an angle of him back there. So I think that's kind of silly. Obviously in real life you'd have a, um, you know, a CB radio or a radio of some sort. You'd be able to communicate and the guy in the back there would be saying, Hey, I got stuck. Hold up. <laughs> So that, that's one thing that does happen sometimes. But other than that, these are pretty uneventful, to be quite honest. Um, I really like, I highly recommend this pack in Eurotruck because of those LED lights that we get. 
Uh, again, American truck. Mm. All we get is those two poopy looking beacon lights, which, you know, they're okay, but my goodness, do we want some LEDs over here. You know, some some lights we can stick on the on the front of our truck, you know, have a couple of a nice LED light bar up top or something, you know. Uh, it, just like we have in Euro Truck. So hopefully that'll get added. There's a couple of coppers and people standing around. So you'll notice things along the route that are all part of this DLC. And I, again, I don't, I actually won't really use this pack much myself because I'm always in multiplayer. So uh, they're fun to do once in a while, but you know, you're restricted. It's not like you can go 65 or see if your truck can get up going 70 and climb up through the mountains and down big hills. I mean, you're pretty much chauffeured around at a slow speed. And uh, Like I said, if you're a truck fan, I don't know why you wouldn't buy it for a few bucks. I guess if you're really on the cheap, you know, maybe you get it when it goes on a sale. But uh, for what you get, you're going to get your money's worth out of it for a few bucks. So getting back to the Volvo, we're, we're talking about the interior. Another thing that I really like that I wanted to throw out too is that, that GPS. I love how that thing has popped up. It's just right there almost in front of the windshield. So it's very easy to see out of your peripheral vision when you're driving. I still do miss my turns once in a while. Um, the gas gauge is really easy to see to the right of the digital display. That's something that like in the little Pete, I call it, that thing is really hard to see and I actually have to get my track IR to look up and then be able to see it. So the gas gauge is, is easy to see. And pretty much everything else I care about is, I mean, right there, easy to see. As far as the exterior of the, the, the truck, hopefully we don't hit the cop car, like I said, I don't have any complaints um, other than you cannot put air horns and you're stuck with the regular horn and your air horn that's all you get on the day cab version I forget the model number but the day cab version does have a supposedly have an option you can put air horns on it but I don't drive the day cab version so for me there's no air horns and in multiplayer it's almost kind of embarrassing to honk at other people when you have a horn that sounds like that and that. <laughs> I really miss my air horn, so hopefully we can get something going with that. That's probably one of my few gripes I have with American truck is the lack of options that we have for our trucks and customizations compared to Euro truck. Oh boy. Oh no, oh, I just nailed the damn trailer. Ooh, this is gonna be bad. We're gonna go to third person so we can get a better view. Oh man, I was way clear. Dang it. Ooh, I might have did some damage there. All right. Well, we're in four low. I'm trying to see if we can get caught up here. Well, not caught up, but get moving rather. I can't believe I did that. I was. Getting to talking so much and enjoying myself and ended up, I guess we bumped the, uh, the guardrail or something. Now the cops got everybody stopped. Oh, nice. So what's he going to do? Stop them and then as soon as we get going, he's going to let them all go. That's cool. I've not seen him do that on the interstate yet, so that's kind of neat. We're not really going to get to see the cop nudge anybody over per se. On the highway, they will. Like when you have oncoming traffic, the, the cop will drive over the center line to kind of force people to move over and give you room, which is really neat. Really appreciate it, too. Now there's a couple of people sitting out watching the fun. Yeah, I've been putting on a lot of miles on this truck the last few days. It's, it's, it's been really, really nice. And I've been enjoying driving something that's a little bit quieter. Not that I, you know, I'm gonna hate on my 900, that's for sure. I love the sound of that truck. But sometimes, you know, especially when you're in like team speak, trying to conversate with people. I mean, that thing, it's a little louder than the other trucks and the, the, the whistle of the, the engine. I mean, it sounds beautiful. 
but it's just nice to get into something that sounds a little bit a little bit better the jake brake i've said on this truck is another thing that i'm not too fond of i'll actually try to use it here in a second get our speed up turn the jake on i'm gonna really try to get going here See if we can. Okay, we can't speed. That's the Jake sound. I mean, it maybe gets a little louder than that, but you get the idea. I'm doing it from the outside. Oh, if I could get into a good view. Oh boy. I gotta watch out what I'm doing. I don't want to cause a wreck. Plus, I got street lights. So, I mean, it has a little bit better sound on the outside. I'm going to take up the whole road here. I, I'm going to have to. You can see how close we are over there. Can't be having that. We shouldn't have to worry about the light. I got the road closed. <laughs> There's the sound right there. We can't complain about it, but you know, it's not as good as a 900. That's again, my opinion. I don't jake that often. So, I mean, I can get over little things like that. Uh, it, not saying it doesn't sound realistic. I don't jake often with the Volvo. So I couldn't tell you. I'm just comparing, you know, trucks in the game. I think this truck has really been a nice addition. It drives really nice too. It has really nice tight handling and the view, I call it the office view. What you see when you're sitting in the view I'm in right now is phenomenal. I think it's probably one of the best. Just again, based on those mirrors, how usable they are, as well as, you know, the, the, the hood mirrors. I can see very easily in them, both my mirrors on the on the side there. Uh, I do wish that the bottom mirror would actually go out farther. I do have that thing moved out to its max and I'm stuck looking at half of my truck. So that would be kind of nice, but I know that's kind of nitpicking because I mean the top mirror is, is phenomenal. I can see everything. All right, here we go, we're moving. I'm really shocked that they aren't like closing off these roads and keeping us moving. Oh, here's the AI being stupid, not going. Well, what seems like about five minutes, and I'm not exaggerating, we're still sitting at this light, and it's turning green and no cars are moving. They're literally moving just one at a time. I, I don't understand this. Like, I don't do single player very often, so I'm really not aware of some of the dickerness that you get out of the AIs, but light just went green again and nobody's gonna go. I really don't know why. I don't know if somehow I'm messing up the flow. I don't think I would be. I am taking up two lanes, but I, I kind of have to. And that's what we're getting. I mean, at this rate, I'm going to be sitting here all day. The vehicles over on that side haven't moved at all. They've just been sitting there the entire time. I got to be really careful that I don't get ahead of my patrol car that's leading me because otherwise it'll fail me here. It looks like my driver's back behind. And here we sit. Now we got a green light and nobody's moving. And I think I'm gonna end up failing this mission when I decide to go here, but I, I don't know what else to do because this car on the right has not moved in 10 or 15 minutes. Well, maybe after we fail it, it'll reload me back and uh, we'll have a little bit better luck, but there's no way I can pass this or do anything right now because as soon as I get so far away from that lead car it's gonna fail. I haven't had this happen yet and I'm really not sure why it is. So I pulled over for the third time and I got smart and I put my traffic to one. I should have been running traffic at the normal amount which is three but there's a slight possibility I might have had it up higher. It didn't feel like it was. We'll just see what happens now with my patrol car and see if there's a way that this, this thing got freed up. I mean, it's so far back here, it probably... Oh, look at this. There they are. I, th I don't know what's going on. Like, both of them are just sitting back here, not moving, and I'm nowhere to be found. All right, well, I got smart, and I was able to load myself back to a previous save, and I've turned the traffic down just a little bit. I always seem to have the worst luck when I get going, and like I said, my traffic should have been set to three which is default i do tend to turn it up 
but lately I've been running it much lower back to kind of normal settings so that we don't have problems like that. There is a possibility that it was still turned up to like 7 and that might have been the reason why the traffic was getting all messed up there. But right now I've turned it down to 1 just to clear everything out and get these vehicles freed up. And in a second here I'm going to put it back to 3, which should be again default. So you can learn something from my issue there, is if you're going to do these, you might want to make sure your traffic is at lower settings. If you're using mods, which I don't, for uh, extra traffic, you're probably going to want to disable that stuff. All right, I am putting in my traffic back to three, so it's gonna clear it out. Like I said, I wanna make sure we're at like a default level. And we get to start out on a hill. Oh well, at least that added some entertainment to the video too. I just can't believe that happened. I mean, everything got so messed up right there. We'll never know the exact reason, but hopefully it'll all work out in the end and I don't see why it won't. But as we get to cruising here, everything else is looking good with our truck. Geez, I just can't believe I've got that many miles on it in only a few days. My goal is to get 100,000 miles on all the, the vanilla trucks in the game, and I want to get my W900, which is at 225. I want to get that one up to 300, I'm sorry, uh, up to a million. That's my goal with that one. I want to get a million miles on that truck. I want to roll that odometer over. All right, well, at least we're getting rolling here again. We did lose some daylight, but should still be okay. It says it's 522 in the evening. Wouldn't that be something if this load ends up being late from all that? Gosh, I sure hope not. All right, we're going to slow down for town here. Don't want to hit that cop car, that is for sure. We'll go and enjoy that third person view just a second here. Oh. There we go. Don't want to bump his bumper. Almost hitting that tree on the side. Supposedly, I think you can fail if you're Obviously, uh, if you speed or hit other cars or something like that, I mean, there's various reasons that you'll yank your butt out of the cab. I've only had it happen when I got mad in the live stream and I passed the cop car. I felt he was going too slow, and uh, it failed me. It failed me when I got ahead of him. It's funny that it didn't fail me a few minutes ago. I was actually hoping it would so we could try to restart things. And the other time I failed, oh boy, what was that? Something, something is beeping. What did I do? Um, I forget why it does that. I had that happen the other day too. Um, but yeah, the other time I failed was when the, the one driver ended up getting so far behind. Which I th thought that might have been just the case now, but no, he's right there behind me. Maybe it was to let me know I can go through the red. You really gotta swing these wide. I'll be honest, this is probably the easiest run so far out of all of them I've done because you really have this nice double road the whole time. And he's gonna wait for me. No, I think I'm safe moving over. I, I don't think these trees on the edge are gonna pose a problem for me. I know I was kind of cheating there by hogging the road, but at the same time, there's so many of these trees and light posts, lamp posts and things like that, especially going through town and signs and stuff, you really got to be careful. The one nice thing about this trailer is just due to the shape of it, the load is not really... Well, it is, this one is, I guess, about as wide on the bottom. Some, some of them are, are like the, the big cylinders and things like that. They're, they're not wide down at the car level. They're wide up higher, and so you'll tend to miss a lot of things like guardrails and things like that. This one here, you're, looks like you're pretty screwed. 
Look at this, look at this. I gotta get back in first person, I can't. Okay, see there's a cop doing that where he's kind of forcing people over. I gotta make sure I'm not hitting. There he goes again. There he goes. Now he's getting it done for us. Yeah, just look at it. I mean, we're taking up definitely a lane and a half. I can hang out over here because I don't have a guardrail. You get those parts that are like where there's a guardrail and then you're on a corner and it gets kind of hairy because then you're definitely going into the other lane gotta hope the other drivers do the same that they move over I know in real life I would I, I wouldn't want to be anywhere near a truck like this what it, I mean one thing we haven't talked about this whole trip is the performance of this truck and I mean I know we're only getting up to 40 miles an hour and a lot of trucks will handle that but this thing and again it's been pretty flat but this thing's been doing great hauls just as good as anything else so I don't think you're gonna have any problems out of any of the trucks if they're you know at least 500 horse or or so oh boy slam on them brakes got a turn here. You'll see where this is going to be interesting. Again, we don't have, whoa, we don't have anything over to our right to worry about. Kind of killed that there. See, I feel like I can't show, like, how we're actually doing back there, but that was a really nice turn. That was a really nice turn. Of course, I'm going over to the right there, but exactly how you want to do it. Almost look, uh, your turns almost look exaggerated when you go to take them, but I'm telling you, if you don't do that, you'll you'll wipe everything out. Especially when you're coming up like an off ramp, and then you have to take a left turn over, you know, onto like the bridge going over the interstate. I have found that when you do that, you almost have to turn right, you know, come out onto the, the highway, and then swing really hard left. To, to go like over the bridge over an interstate or else you'll wipe the bridge out probably should shift here shouldn't I yeah it's been uh, it's been interesting the last few days like I said yesterday I did 10,000 miles uh, in the game I think it took me six runs across the map and back it took me about 11 hours straight and we live streamed the whole thing had a big group of people that were in so if you haven't found a group of people that are uh, you know welcoming you as far as wanting a truck online uh, look no further join join us we'd love to have you our discord link is down below we've got a phenomenal group of people in our community and we have a ton of fun hanging out in our discord team speak and there's people trucking 24 7 I can always look on the gun and gamers truck books and see people on the road so there's always people trucking and a lot of times they're in multiplayer so We've got a great group. We're up to, I think, 334 drivers now. So we've been growing and growing and growing, and we're always looking for more new people. I mean, we'd love to have you join us, so look for that uh, link down below for our VTC as well. Trucksbook is a free program. It's phenomenal as far as adding a lot of, like, extra things for you to do in here. I'm going really slow. I'm I'm trying to get up to speed here. Kind of talking here, not paying attention to the fact that I can go 40. Without trying to hit trees and wipe anybody out or any signs. Got signs and trees in the right and other traffic on the left. Okay, here we go. I gotta be really careful here now. That's why I haven't been trying to get my speed up too much. Oh, wow. Feels a little tippy right there. Feels a little tippy. Okay. Shift into a lower gear. I don't know if that means he wants me to stay in this lane. Heck, I'll do it. I think it because it goes into one lane coming up. want to shift between 15 and 18 
stay in that power band, which I tend to rev the heck out of her sometimes, but it's okay. It's a, as I said before, it's a game. You can't do damage to your vehicles like that. Drive them how you want to. In real life, you wouldn't want to. All right, what do we got on this sign up here? Whoa, what is that? Some kind of cuisine, I couldn't tell. It looked like somebody threw up on a plate. <laughs> I, I was about to get hungry on some of those burger billboards. But uh, that one there, it looked like a mess your dog left in the carpet. I don't know, I don't know if I want to eat at that place. Okay, we're going, yeah, we're going left here. I think we're just about to our destination. Oh boy, oh boy, don't want to hit nobody there. Okay, I'm gonna head right for that curb. Oh boy, oh boy, on the sidewalk. Gotta watch all your white cars. Thankfully, there's nobody in that part there. I guess that's not even a lane. Okay. All right. We're good. <laughs> we're good. And we're stopping. Because we're turning. All right, now he'll pull forward and kind of just block everybody. And I've got an easy drop off here. Follow that guy right up. Staying hard to the right. Probably should shift, shouldn't we? There we go. Using the SKRS shifter, by the way, and I've got videos on YouTube here that you can go way back and look at. The button box has uh, been a, a, a really nice thing. Did a video of that not long ago. So check that out if you haven't had a chance. Use uh, code GUN10, G-U-N-N-1-0, -N for a 10% off. There may be a few codes left, I'm not sure, but you can try it if you're gonna buy a box. Might save you some money. All right, well, we made it, and we're in the green. It wasn't too bad, other than the dickeredness in Roswell. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my parking brake. We're in neutral here. We gotta also go over here and unattach the trailer, which I think, uh, yeah, we'll jump into third person for that. There it goes, you can kinda see it lift the weight off the truck. And we got an excellent. So, good thing everything went through. Uh, we had a little traffic problem, but we'll just blame it on maybe that my traffic was turned up a little bit. I like to run my traffic high when I do come over here, but I think it was at a 7, so that's the first time I've seen that happen. But anyway, continue on that. We're doing pretty good here, and uh, truck is phenomenal. I don't think you're going to get a whole lot better, maybe the 900, but this is a phenomenal truck, and it's free. Oh, well, I'm kind of sad that all of our police officer buddies and everybody else, the news, no, nobody wants my autograph or anything like that. A lot of times when you pull in, and I might not have noticed, but they'll have news people there uh, that'll be there to greet you. But as soon as we drop the load off, they're all gone. So that's a great time to end this video with one last look at this beautiful truck and the very unique shutdown sounds, which you'll hear in a second here. It's got like a squeaky belt thing going on. I like it. I like the immersion of that. So like I said, it's a really nice looking truck. And that'll wrap up today's video, folks. I'm not sure when I'll get another truck video out. Hopefully it'll be not too many more weeks. But as you all know, Farming 19 is around the corner. I'll be on that in a couple days for early access look from Giants. So very thankful for them for that. And we'll be live streaming that over on our twitch.tv slash gunning gamers as well as all the trucking related stuff and all of our flying and everything else. So do join us over there if you haven't done that already. All the links are down below. Again, make sure that you like this video and hit the subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. And until next time, take care.